Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Playmobil Ghostbusters Ecto-1. That's right, the Playmobil Ghostbusters toys are here! I have been so excited about these, I've thought that they've looked incredible ever since I saw the initial pictures, so I'm really excited to start taking a look at these new sets. And we're going to kick things off with the Ecto-1. As you can see, it comes in fully enclosed box packaging, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors that are used on the front of the box there. It's very bright and vibrant, features an image of the Ecto-1 with all of the accessories, including the two included figures of Winston Zedmore and Janine. Pretty cool stuff. It's a Janine in the Ghostbusters gear, so that's pretty cool. And one of the things you'll notice when we're looking at all the Playmobil Ghostbusters sets is that every set comes with different figures, so collecting all the sets is going to round up all the different figures in various outfits. The back of the box there does give you a breakdown of everything that is included in this particular set. And when you open up that box, you're going to be treated with a whole bunch of bags filled with 79 pieces. So I'll be honest with you guys, this right here is the first Playmobil set I have ever put together. I've picked up some of the blind bag figures in the past, but I've never built any of their sets before. So this actually had a lot more building than I thought it was going to have. But the instructions are very easy to follow. If you've ever done this before, you should have no problems. But just follow that guide there, piece together everything. I don't think it took me more than about 20 minutes or so to get this put together. And once it's all said and done, this right here is what we end up with. It is a really, really cool looking vehicle here. And you can see we've got a lot of great accessories, including the two figures. So let's go ahead and move these out of the way just for now, because I want to start by focusing on the vehicle itself, and then we'll get a closer look at all these fun little accessories. Look at the slime pieces. We're going to look at those more in a bit. So, the Ecto-1 itself. Now, one of the things that is very cool uh, about the Playmobil sets here, um, and, and this is how Playmobil is, if you've ever had it before. So, all of the actual vehicles and play sets look and feel like the actual vehicles and the buildings. Like, the firehouse looks like the firehouse. It's, um, you know, not like a, a specific Playmobil style. While the action figures themselves are a very stylized Playmobil look, the vehicle just looks like the Ecto-1, and I love that. And I gotta tell you, it's a very solid construction that is a really, really great resemblance to the way the vehicle appeared in the films. So I love pretty much everything about this, and it was a really simple build, like I said. But I do have one little nitpick that I want to point out right away, just to get it out of the way. My box was missing one piece. It was. Uh, I'm missing one of the little parts that fits on the headlight on the front of the car. And it looks like a piece that could have been easy to lose, but trust me, I looked everywhere, all around here, in the bags, in the box. Unfortunately, it's a missing piece. Um, you know, and I've had that happen in the past with Lego sets and Mega Block sets, so I'm sure that this is something that can happen. Hopefully, it's just a fluke with mine, and it's not something that's going to be a problem. But aside from that, I love this. I think it turned out wonderful. It was very fun to build. And just look at all of the really cool details. I love how solid it feels too. So let me bring in a tape measure here just so you guys can get an idea of the scale of this thing. It is about 13 inches across and the whole thing stands just under 5 inches tall. So the minifigures, Playmobil's minifigures, if you've never had these before, these scale right at 3 inches tall. So, obviously, uh, this is kind of a new scale for Ghostbusters. It's not really going to fit in with scale with some of your old Kenner figures or anything like that. A lot of cool stuff going on here. So let me show you. Uh, I love that the wheels on here are rubber. Very, very nice. Um, you can see nice, solid chassis on the bottom there. The doors do not open on this, but the way you actually put the figures inside is the top piece is removable. You can see how you can pop that right off the top. Um, and then if you look down on the inside, you can see we've got the seats up front. Uh, the steering wheel's got a little gap underneath it that is so that the figures can fit down on the inside. So here, let me go and show you some of the fun little details going on here. Because um, there's some fun stuff I love on the back of the car there. But first, let me show you. 
We'll get Winston kind of positioned in the car. There you go, just like that. It actually sits in there nice and solid too, which I really like. So you can get him seated in there. But here's one thing that I thought was really cool. You can see we got extra chairs in the back, so four Ghostbusters can ride in here. But I love the little harnesses on the back, which is for the proton packs. So you can see these great little proton packs, which by the way, I love the little streams that attach to the front. How cool is that? But you can pop that off. Look at this, you can plug the uh, actual uh, neutr neutrino wand, or neutr wow, yeah, the wand. <laughs> you can plug it onto the back of the proton pack, and look at this. You can actually attach those all the way across. Now this particular set only comes with two, because you've got one for the Janine figure and one for the Winston figure, but if you end up with all four Ghostbusters, you can put all their packs inside the back of the car. I thought that was a very, very cool touch. Now aside from that, you can also open up the back hatch, you can see it opens up just like that, and there's places to put the other accessories. So, more accessories that we get with this. You also get a ghost trap, which is pretty cool looking. does have a handle on both the trap itself and a little pedal, so you can have your Playmobil figures carrying it around. You can also open up the little doors on there. Check that out. And look at I love that. Don't look inside the trap! Don't do it! Except do, because look, there's a little hole there. I'm kind of hoping that when I open up some of the ghost sets, maybe that means I can plug the ghosts into it. But pretty cool stuff. But... Um, now that I've shown you that, you can see there's a little spot right there on the inside of the back that like perfectly holsters the trap. You can just kind of rest it in there. So pretty cool stuff. And then we'll just close that back hatch. So uh, before we put the top back on, it's worth noting that there is a really cool light and sound feature with this. So you will need three AAA batteries, which go right here. Uh, you'll need a screwdriver to open that up, but you can position your three AAAs in there. Let's go ahead and put that canopy back on top. You can see it clips down, holds very well. Just look at all the cool details. The little hoses are all rubber there. I love the way that the lights look on the top. Uh, you know, you got the little ladder off to the side. I just love all of these great little details, but this is where things get really fun. We got two buttons up here on the top. One for lights and one for sounds. Are you guys ready for this? Because this is definitely my favorite thing about this. If I press the light button first, here's what we get. Check that out. They are really bright LED lights. Look, we got red light flashing here, the blue lights flashing up on top. They're bright and they're vibrant. I absolutely love that, but it gets even better when we press the sound button. How incredible is that? It's amazing. I just absolutely love that I could get an Ecto-1 toy that makes that noise. It's incredibly satisfying. You'll notice that the sound kind of went off on its own. After a little bit of time, the lights keep blinking. All you gotta do is press that button again and the lights will go off. But it's just so, so incredibly fun to press these buttons. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so, so very much. So very, very cool stuff. So um, you might have seen me pick up those weird little slime pieces at the beginning. These are fun. I thought these were great. It comes with four of these like drooping slime bits. And basically they're just this very soft, rubbery type plastic um, that kind of cling. They're almost like static clings. And basically this is so that you can just cling these anywhere you want to. I mean, they're not stickers. They're just like little pieces of rubber, but you can like cling them anywhere you want to on the car to make it look like there's slime splattered all over the car, all over the ground, however you want to do it. It's just a fun way to kind of deck things out and uh, add a little bit of play value to the overall vehicle. And then of course, back to those figures. So Winston's sitting in the car. We also have Janine here. Look, check it out. Mel Melnitz is on the name tag there. Um, Playmobil figures, of course, articulate at the head, the arms, and then the legs move up and down together in unison. Uh, I showed you guys the cool little blast effect that you can attach to the wand. And we even get a little PKE meter, which is a fun little accessory as well. So overall, this is a really fun set. So I talked a little bit about the Kenner Ghostbusters a little bit ago. I know you guys want to see this, so let's go ahead and do it. It's comparison time! Here is the new Playmobil Ecto-1 sitting alongside the old Kenner Ecto-1. That way you guys get an idea of the style and the scale difference between the two. And while we're still talking about the real Ghostbusters, let's bring in one of those old Kenner action figures here. We'll bring Egon in, standing next to the new Playmobil Ecto-1, just so you can see 
they they're pretty big. <laughs> they tower over this new Ecto One. It's definitely a scale on its own. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the incredibly fun new Playmobil Ecto One vehicle. I really love this, and this right here has me so excited to check out the rest. I'll have the Firehouse, Stay Puff, Slimer, all the sets. We're definitely going to be opening them up and checking them out. So stay tuned, guys, because more Ghostbusters reviews are on the way. These are scheduled to hit store shelves in June. I actually found mine in stock on Amazon already. That's where I picked mine up. So happy hunting, my friends. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe for more Ghostbusters Playmobil reviews. Until next time, my friends. Ghostbusters.